Hi. Now, in this example, we're told that we've got this figure ABC, which is a sector of a circle of radius 6 centimetres with a centre at A. And given that the size of angle BAC is 0.95 radians, we've got to find the length of the arc BC and the area of the sector ABC. So, if you haven't tried this already, give you a moment just to uh, pause the video. Don't forget you can see tutorials on arc lengths and areas of sector on my website examsolutions.net. Okay, so uh, for this one, okay, part A, let's just mark it in, we've got the length of the arc BC. So let's just put an intro, length of arc BC. Now, this arc length here is a fraction of the circumference of the whole circle. And that fraction is going to be 0.95 compared with or out of the angle for a full turn. Now we're working in radians here, so the number of radians in a full turn is 2 pi. And so we've got this fraction of the circumference of a full circle, which is 2 pi r. 2 pi, and in this particular case, the radius is 6. And you end up with, in this example, these two 2 pi's cancelling one another out. And you get the familiar formula for radians, that is arc length is equal to the angle times the radius. You can't apply that though if this is an angle in degrees. It will be the angle over 360 times 2 pi r. Okay. So if you work this out anyway on your calculator, you should find it comes out at exactly 5.7 and the units for that length will be centimetres. Now for next part B, we've got to work out the area of the sector ABC. And again, the area of the sector is going to be a fraction of the area of a circle. We'll just say area of sector ABC though equals and that fraction will again be the angle 0.95 compared with or out of the amount of radians in one complete turn. So it's this fraction of the area of a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared and the radius in this example is 6 so we've got pi times 6 squared. The pi's cancel out in this particular example giving us the angle times the radius squared over 2. Some people think of this as half theta r squared or half r squared theta. And it is, but you can only use this formula when you're working in radians. If it was an angle again in degrees, it would be the angle over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So if you work this through your calculator, what you should find you get is exactly 17.1 and the units are centimeter squares. All right?